Hey everyone, welcome back. So if you are new into makeup and you're just starting out, then this video is for you. I know how confusing it can get and how overwhelming it is when you are first starting out with makeup and it can be a little confusing, a little daunting. So I thought I should help you guys out. So everything that you need to start your makeup bag is in here. I tried to be as inclusive as possible and I'm also going to give you options uh, for you to choose from. All also, how stunning is this bag? It's from Cosrx. I picked it up when I was in Chennai. If you guys haven't watched my vlogs, then you can go do that. Uh, but without any further ado, let's just jump right in. The first thing I put in there is foundation. Now, this is what you would start your base with. I included this one, which is the Total Control Drop Foundation from NYX because how inclusive they are in terms of color. So no matter what your skin color is, you will find a match with this. And it is a great formula for the price that you pay. It is a great foundation for everyday purpose it's very easy to use it's very fluid and runny so it just is very easy to blend using either a sponge or a foundation brush it's also tiny so it fit in that bag really well um, so it's very easy to travel with and you can also mix into different colors very well in case you do not find the exact shade match so that way this is very inclusive and also a great everyday foundation so the next step for me is to use concealer concealer and I use that to add in a little bit more coverage say on top of an acne or to brighten up my face especially the center of my face and for concealer you can check out the fit me concealer from Maybelline these are very creamy and they are very easy to blend I use the shade medium I only wish that there were more colors available in this concealer range because the formula is amazing the next thing that you would need in your makeup routine is powder so when you are done applying concealer and foundation you would need something to set them together and I have been using the Maybelline Superstay white fresh powder it really does the job and it's super duper inexpensive and it is very easy to carry along you also get a mirror along with it so yeah you could definitely get this in your first ever makeup bag the next step would be to do your eyebrows and I have included the color bar one because I could not find my faces one but they are very similar uh, it comes with a spoolie in one end and a pencil on the other end they are very creamy and it's easy to create like brush strokes it is very important that you do not skip doing your eyebrows whenever you're doing your makeup routine I'm gonna link the faces one down below but you can also very well go ahead and use any matte brown eyeshadow to fill in your eyebrows the next step would be for me to do my eyes and this is the palette that I thought would be great for any beginner uh, this is the sugar blend the rules eyeshadow quad in number five irreplaceable so it comes with four colors four very very well colors it comes with a champagne gold like a very light champagne gold highlighter shade and then it comes uh, with a gold like a bronzy gold and it comes with this copper shade all of these are shimmery eyeshadows and then it comes with a matte brown eyeshadow so I thought this was perfect for a beginner but I do have some other options for eyeshadow I wanted to quickly mention these liquid eyeshadows these are the L'Oreal Infallible Paints eyeshadow this is in the shade brown sugar so it comes with two different eyeshadow colors and they have quite a lot of other colors that you can choose from uh, but I thought this is something that you know a lot of people could just wear um, so this brown one you can just take in Using, you can just apply it using this doe foot applicator all over your eyes and then just use your finger to spread it. It's very, very easy to blend and it just stays put throughout the day. The other eyeshadow palettes that I wanted to um, just quickly mention are these Faces one. As you can tell from this one that I have used this quite a bit, this is their Ultim Pro eyeshadow palette in nude. So it has all these like earthy shades and they are very soft and creamy and very very pigmented and I have used this very often so I feel like it's a great purchase because you are going to get quite a lot of use out of this 
and in case you do not like wearing like earthy tones and you like you prefer um, rosy tones you can even go for uh, this eyeshadow palette from faces again but this one is in rose and if you want more option and just want to spend on one eyeshadow palette then I would highly recommend this one from makeup revolution this is their fortune favors the brave eyeshadow palette and it has literally everything that you might need this is a great investment as well so you can either pick and choose between these eyeshadow palettes the next thing that you would want in your bag is kajal so I have two options again the first one is from faces uh, this is their ultim pro intense gel kajal in black they are super soft and very very long lasting the next one is from plum this is their all day wear cold kajal this is their waterproof one again very dark soft and very very long lasting the next thing that you must have in your makeup bag is mascara now i cannot stress on the importance of applying mascara in your makeup routine again another one of those um tools that like completely changes the way your makeup looks and this is one thing that i do not skip ever so i have two different options the first one is from maybelline uh, this is their lash sensational fan effect mascara now this is for those of you who prefer like a less dramatic um eyes and it just really defines your lashes, lengthens it and separates it. And if you are looking for that extra, extra drama, that oomph, I would recommend this one from Isadora. This is their insane volume lash styler and they're not kidding when they're saying that it gives you insane volume. I also really like the Maybelline Falsies Push Up Drama Mascara. That is another one of my favorites, but I felt like I was just doing like too many Maybelline products in this video. So I thought of including something else as well. And then if you prefer using a liquid eyeliner then I would recommend this one from Nykaa it's very inexpensive this is their black magic liquid liner it is very long lasting very pigmented and easy to use or if you prefer gel eyeliners then you can again go for the Maybelline gel eyeliner pot next thing that you would need in your makeup bag is blush and I have quite a lot of options for blush I just could not pick and choose so I'm just going to quickly mention all of them this one's from faces this is in the shade perfect cinnamon it is great for anybody who has uh, medium to dark skin tone it looks very naturally flushed on your skin and then another one of my favorite everyday sort of blush is from LA girl this is their just blushing in just glowing and I think it's called brown if I'm not wrong and it is again a beautiful everyday sort of blush I'm wearing that on my cheeks right now and if you are a beginner and you think it is a lot of work for you to like apply blushes using brushes then you can even use something like this which is like a chubby stick uh, this is the infallible blush paint long wear high impact stick and it's very very easy to use so you just like apply it dab it on your cheek just use your fingers to blend it and it's very long lasting the next thing that I wanted to mention is this YBP color cream this was the Shreya Jane collection and this is again another one of those multi-purpose products that you can use on your eyelids as blush or you could even use this as a lip stain so again if you are a beginner a multi-purpose product like goes a long way now if you are a beginner this is a product that you don't necessarily need uh, but if you want to contour and add that to your routine you can check out this one from l'oreal this is again from their infallible range and this is their pro contour but if you want something that is more multi-purpose then you can go for this one from maybelline this is their master contour face contouring kit so it comes with a contour shade a blush and a highlighter so you complete like three steps in one so for a beginner i feel like this is a great investment the next thing that you must have in your makeup bag is highlighter uh, now this one again is from maybelline but honestly it is one of the the best highlighter ever uh, this is the Maybelline master chrome highlighter it is a beautiful golden shade that works well for all kinds of skin tone and it is so shimmery so bright and it's just so 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 beautiful I would highly recommend this okay I promise this is the last product lipsticks you have to have lipsticks in your makeup bag if you are just starting out and you have no idea how hard it was for me to cut down to just three lipsticks uh, the first one is a nude this one's from faces this is their ultim pro uh, lipstick 
crayon in the shade spiced latte it's a nude that would work well with all kinds of skin tone i would also recommend that you check out this shade called seduction from nyx this is from their lip lingerie range next i have a pink uh, for those of you who prefer wearing like bright fuchsia shades um, that's the lipstick that i'm wearing on right now uh, this is from wet n wild and this is in the shade nice to fuchsia uh, this is from their catsuit matte liquid lipstick collection they also have a really nice nude you can even check out the shade called Turkish Rose from Nika K that's again a beautiful everyday sort of lipstick and then finally for red I am actually recommending a high-end lipstick because I feel like red lipstick is a proper investment and this shade from MAC called Fashion Legacy is my ultimate red it looks good on everybody it's so pigmented and that's all that's all I promise I know it looks like a lot of products but these are like all the essentials at least for me and if you are starting out then I hope this video really helps you so that's all thank you so much for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already you can also click on the bell icon just so that you are notified whenever I upload a new video and I will see you in my next one bye